Yo, what's good with y'all? So what's it called? So I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was already recording. Like I was already recording from the start. My recording was like 11 minutes long. But like I just kept forgetting shit. Like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I kept forgetting how to do stuff. So I trashed the recording and then I'm doing what I did, something I did before, where it's like basically. I already have it like made because as you can see, it, like requires you some modeling. I'm gonna just explain explain to you guys how to make it and like the whole breakdown of it, so you guys will understand and stuff. If you're wondering just why it's already built and why it's already scripted, plus I ran into like a problem that like it took me a sec to uh figure out. Okay, so basically from the title of the video, we're making a jail cell. Let me just go ahead and show you guys how it works, so you guys know if this is the right video for you. I'll just go ahead and just show you right off the bat. We have ourselves a jail cell, 4x4, four four, enough to fit, well, a few players, but it's mainly just built for one player. So, if I walk to if I walk towards the red things, they kill me. Now, when I respawn, now if I'm to click the green button, they become transparent, basically invisible, and I can walk through without dying. The jail cell basically just becomes open. Then if I click the red button, they come back, and they can kill me. Yeah, that's basically uh, the fun like the whole functionality of the jail cell. This is what you're looking for. Then that's what I got for you. Okay, so basically, you guys are gonna want you guys are gonna want a few parts. You guys are gonna want to start off with a floor. You can make this as big as you want, depending on how many players you want inside. I made it about just literally the same exact size as a spawn because you can fit a, you can fit a player on a spawn. And then you're gonna wanna like. You're gonna want three walls. If you want like these four, like, if you want like your entire cell to be encased in like these little kill bars, then you could do that. It's completely up to you. But for me, I just did uh, the four kill bars in the, in the front and then three walls, left, right, and the back, and then put a roof. Basically just duplicate these, then just rotated them and move them, basically. So yeah. And then now we're gonna get into how this script works. If you guys if you guys watch my past video on how to uh, how to make a kill break, then literally this part will be easy for you. It's the exact same script in each four of them. Function on hit on touch hits h equals hit dot parent find first child humanoid if h squiggly line equals nil then h dot health equals zero and script dot parent dot touch connect on touch is is literally the exact same as my other one. If you guys like. The reason I'm not giving you an in-depth explanation because I already have a video out explaining how to do it and explaining like what it all like means. So if you guys don't understand, then you guys can go watch that video. But yeah, so you're gonna, you're literally just gonna put that script into all four of them, and then it'll have they'll all work the same. Now we'll get into the button script. So you're gonna want two parts. I guess we could do open. We'll just call this open and close. So the green button is obviously open, red is closed. They have click detectors. They both have click detectors inside. So when the player clicks, it knows. Then inside the open button, here's our script. Local click, we made a variable equals script dot parent to click detector. Then we made a function. Click dot mouse click connect function. And then it does all this stuff when the player clicks. So we did game dot workspace dot kill bar dot transparency equals one basically when the player clicks the green button all four of these the transparency will be changed from zero to one basically making them invisible as well as um it, the script is doing three different things that's the first part the second part it's turning can collide off which basically means if a player is to try to walk through them they'll just be able to just go straight through them it won't like stop them or get in the way or anything that's why i was able to walk through it and then the last part game that works based on killbar dot script dot killbar dot script that disabled that's basically disabling the kill bar like the uh, the kill script basically that i put inside of each kill bar so that when a player walks that was the problem i was actually encountering because basically if you guys don't have that on or like an alternative for it if you like the bars will turn invisible and you'll be able to walk through it but you'll still die every time you like make contact within like what however big the uh kill bar is it would still kill you. That's why we're just disabling the script. And then in the red bar, it's literally the complete opposite. The close, the close button, same same thing at the beginning. Made a variable click, click the mouse click, 
connect function and then we just did literally the complete opposite basically as you can see i did not obviously type this out types all out i just copy and pasted it from here and then literally just changed it just change because that's literally all you're doing is just changing it the order is a little messed up because i was uh trying things out trying to see what was the problem originally but yeah so same thing as before setting the transparency to zero basically meaning that it's visible we can see it can collide true so that when players touch it it makes contact they cannot walk through it and then game that works we start kill bar dot script dot disable we're setting that to false as we want the script in other words it's literally setting the script to enabled because we want the script on to where if a player touches it it will kill them and stuff when the uh, cell is closed yeah it's mainly like you'll spend i guarantee you you'll spend more time like actually modeling than like actually scripting because the scripting is pretty simple it's just a lot of parts but yeah for the last demonstration for how it works green we'll go red and we die literally this is that simple um i hope that this was helpful i know since i didn't do a like a what's it called like a, how i normally do like a walkthrough of like scripting and building and stuff it might be a little bit confusing so if you guys have any questions or like concerns or anything just let uh, leave them in the comment section down below of course i'll respond and i will try to help you well not even try i will help you um, if this was helpful to you though, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see y'all.